Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd do a little driving video in uh, in Sylvia again. In this beautiful summer's weather. Look at this. <laughs> well, we had a few days of summer and then we've got the good old rain. I just turned the wipers off a second. Look how bad it is. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Hope everyone's all right. Um, if you've been watching the last few videos you'll see that I've actually been doing some videos uh, I've said previously I've had a few months where I've not not done as many videos as I used to do I used to do you know two three sometimes four a week and then uh, had a bit of a period where I've just not done as many it's just been a bit of a combination of just being so so busy and also driving a more modern daily driver don't give you as much inspiration for doing retro videos so uh, any of videos I've been doing I've been driving my Astra and it's probably not been as interesting but now I'm using Sylvia again temporarily at the moment Perfect weather for using Sylvia in. <laughs> um, hence, I've not done as many videos recently. But oh wow, these roads are wet. Try not to act for plane. Should be all right. I'm only doing 50. Beautiful, beautiful weather, isn't it? Just thinking about. When I've got the uh, the big box hall show coming up, only in about three, four weeks time. Just hoping that the weather's a bit better for that. Don't fancy camping if the weather's like this. But yeah, if anybody um, anybody's going to the VBOA, Vauxhall Bedford Opal Association the big show at uh, Cyril Aerodrome later this month in fact yeah it's oh no it's next month still sorry I was it's because it's first of July tomorrow as I, as I record this but yeah if anybody's going I'll be on the Mark 2 cab stand I'll be there in Sylvia all being well unless anything majorly changes between now and then so if anybody wants to pop along and see Sylvia um, I'll probably be out and about wandering around the show but if you happen to catch me while I'm at Sylvia then feel free to pop and say hi and uh, have a little chat hopefully it'll be a nice weekend and we won't have horrible weather like this one year when it was at Billing a place called Billing Aquadrome the Aquadrome lived up to its name lived up to its name Aqua because it totally and utterly flooded, completely flooded. And um, we were only there for the Friday night and then we ended up going home because um, most of the campsite just was flooded. All the fields where the shows were, some bits were like a, a foot, 18 inches deep in water people are having to wade through water to get to the cars to rescue the cars from uh, from the floods and when you see rain like this at the end of June coming into July you think oh dear it doesn't bode well for the next few weeks you just hope that this rain disappears and we go back to some nice weather because last thing we want is uh, is bad weather especially when you're camping the worst thing that you could wish for so yeah fingers crossed hopefully it's all right it's calming down a little bit now it's actually been all right most of the day it's only really started in the last hour in fact this bad rain's only started literally in the last about 20 minutes it were all right when i came out to work half an hour ago And then it had just just started when I were in the shop. I've just been shopping. Nicked into good old Aldi, pick up a few bargains. Although I've noticed price or everything's gone up. Things aren't as cheap as they have been, but 
that's just the way things are at the moment, isn't it? As as most people are are aware. I'll tell you something, it's nice to be able to see my dashboard again. If you watched my last video, you'll see that I um, my dashboard illumination for the rev counter, the speedo, fuel gauge, temperature gauge had stopped working. I, I explained in my last video why it wasn't working and how I managed to fix it. So if you want to watch that, that'll tell you how I managed to fix it. But yeah, it's just nice being able to see my dash illuminated again. It's one of the things that's different between modern Vauxhalls and, and the old school Vauxhalls like this. Like the newer the newer Vauxhalls, the the dashboards are illuminated constantly. So like you look at the like the Corsa D's onwards and the um some of the some of the Astras, um some of the newer Astras, the dashboards illuminated all the time and that's why you sometimes see people driving with no lights on because the dashboard is illuminated all the time they don't realize they've not got the lights on and I've done it myself when I first started selling cars I worked at a Vauxhall dealer and I started in 2007 when the Corsa D had just come out it had, it had only been out for about a year and I had one as a company car and uh, I found myself driving thinking I've got my lights on because the dashboard was illuminated but I didn't actually have my lights on and I didn't realise and, and people were flashing at me I'm like oh crap I ain't got my lights on because I was, I was used to at the time driving my Calibra that was my main daily driver at the time and the dashboard in the Calibra was the same as this as in it only illuminated when you'd got your lights on so if you looked at your dials and they were dark, you knew straight away you didn't have your lights on. But uh, as I say, with the Corsa D, which I had a few of as company cars, you just didn't know. You know, if you were driving on a street that was well, well illuminated, loads of street lights, so you probably didn't really notice you didn't have your lights on. So, uh, but yeah, it's, it's nice having me illumination back anyway I do tend to waffle a bit on these videos as regular viewers will uh, <laughs> will testify to oh it's been a mad busy day today it's last day of the month and anybody who's ever worked in the car trade will know the last day of the month last few days of the month are always mad and busy because you're trying to get the last few cars out into the month to get into the into the figures and try and get to your targets for that month I remember when I used to be in sales you know the last few days of the month were always mad to try to get try to get your last few sales out to get into your try to get to your targets I mean I'm not in sales anymore but I'm on the other side of things now I'm on the valeting I'm actually a valet manager stock preparation quality controller I do all sorts of things within my role, but one of the one of the main key aspects of my job is the quality control and being the the valet bay manager. So I have to make sure the cars are done, make sure they're done on time, and make sure they're done to uh, to a good enough quality standard so that customers are happy. That's what it's all about. So uh, so yeah. 30, 30th of June 2022 as I record this for anybody who's watching it later down the line and then it all starts again tomorrow 1st of July that's the start of a brand new month and it all starts again I've just got dripped on <laughs> uh, that's one thing we have in a sunroof the fantastic but when it really, really rains heavy, like it just has, well, you've just, you've just seen it on the video how heavily it's been raining. Uh, my sunroof does leak. One of the joys of having a sunroof. I said, I said in one of my previous videos, these last few days, how it's nice having a sunroof. And it's one thing I miss in Owen, me, me gold cavalier, because that doesn't have a sunroof. And uh, it is nice having a sunroof because it, it's not the same as having a convertible, but it's close. It's definitely nice being here to wind the roof back, have the sun shining in. And uh, it does give you a lot of the feeling of a convertible. 
without actually being a convertible but yeah i've just i'm getting drips on my head because my sunroof's started to leak in recent times it never used to it honestly never used to so i don't i don't know why it started in recent times and i did actually think that it was just the drainage channel that was um that was overflowing when I'd had water in the car, I was thinking that it was the drainage um, tubes that might be blocked and it was just the drainage um, little gutters that were getting flooded and it was overflowing and that's what I thought it was but I've looked when it's been wet like it is now and it's actually not that that's the problem, it's actually leaking in around the seal of the glass and it's coming from, from the glass itself. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that. It's obviously an issue I've got to fix at some point, but I don't know how I'm going to do it. When I keep making little list of jobs that I need to do on Sylvia, the little list keeps getting bigger because another thing I'd forgotten about was the passenger passenger side sun visor snapped. The little uh, the little hinge snapped because it was really really stiff. And the driver's one had been really stiff at one bit and I actually sprayed WD-40 inside the, the hinge. I managed to get it freed up and, and moving and working. And I tried the same thing on the passenger side one but it didn't work and I pulled it and put a little bit of effort on and it actually snapped the plastic. And I was like, I was gutted because obviously it's the old original one that's been on the car for 36 years nearly. And I went and broke it um, earlier this year and I'm like, oh, damn it. The other thing as well, which I keep forgetting about, is the, um, the interior light uh, is also not working right. It's got the delayed cutoff interior light. So the idea is you open the door, you shut the door, and the interior light stays on for about, I don't know, I've never timed it, about 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. The idea is it gives you time to find your seatbelt, put your seatbelt on um, and then when you turn the ignition on the light goes off but uh, yeah it just gives you that little bit of a courtesy light for a little bit longer rather than it going off the second you shut the door it just gives you a bit of light for longer but it had started playing up so when you shut the door the light stayed on and instead of the delay turning the light off, it wasn't turning off, so it was actually staying on. And I actually had somebody come and knock at the door of the house saying, oh, do you know that your, your, your light's on inside your car? I'm like, oh, is it? I'd not realised, because I'd got out of the car and shut the door. The light had stayed on as it always does, and I'd walked away from the car, but it hadn't turned itself off automatically. So, uh, yeah, that's another another little random thing that I need to sort. Oh, yeah, I've just got dripped on again as I've gone round the corner. <laughs> oh, awesome. As I say, it only seems to do it when it rains really, really, really badly like it has been doing today. Yep, I'm getting wet. And the only way to stop myself getting wet is actually to shut the interior blind of the sunroof because that stops the water dripping in on my head but then obviously water gets trapped behind the blind so I'm going to just pull it shut because I'm fed up of getting wet but then obviously water gets trapped behind it and then uh, you get damp and mildew and mould inside the car I mean, ideally, I want to get to a situation so that in winter I can put Sylvia away in the garage, but the problem is because I've got so many other cars, I've got my me, me cab convertible, which is in the garage, and my Nova, which is in the garage. I don't know how I'm ever going to manage to have Sylvia in the garage as well, so I don't think it's ever actually going to... ever actually going to happen, unfortunately, but... I hate them speed bumps. Them speed bumps are horrible. Well, there's actually a space in the car park, aren't I lucky? <laughs> this car park's often full. So yeah, I'm just at my girlfriend's. So that's me done. Engine off. 
so thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, in fact while I'm still recording I'll take my camera off and I'll just show you yeah look water dribbling it's actually dry at that side but yeah you can see water there look that's where water's it seems to be coming in from around that seam around the glass if I just actually open this room because it has actually stopped Oh, it's nearly stopped raining. See, I thought it was building up in this drainage channel and then it was overflowing, but as you can see, it's not. There's hardly anything in there. There's a little bit in the drainage tunnel, but... Just sort of, sort of it again, because inside a car's getting wet. But yeah, it's actually... The water's actually coming in around the edge of this seam. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Oh yeah, that's my uh, my missing sun visor. So if I show you the driver's side one, that little, um, that little hinge piece there that goes into the roof, that was the bit that snapped. And that's, that's, the, that's the point where it snapped. You can see the plastic is still in there from where it snapped. So yeah, I'm a bit gutted really. Oh, I'll show you my dials, look. They actually illuminate now. Oh, oh. But yeah, the problem is this um, This is the auto dimming. Well, it's not auto dimming, what am I on about? But it's the variable brightness. And um, they never work. I've never seen a Mark II cab where that still works. And uh, it's been bypassed, so that switch actually does nothing. But when I reconnected the lights this last time round, I'd put that back into the circuit without realising. And because I'd put that back into the circuit, that's why my dashboard weren't illuminating because that don't work. <laughs> so that's why my illumination wasn't working. So there you go. Oh yeah, and my other issue that I've talked about in my last video as well, I look at water there where, is my electric window switch. See my driver's one, it's fine, but the passenger one, look how it sticks. And it don't work at all going that direction because it's, it's worn inside, so that switch was at that side and that switch was at that side and I swapped them round. So at least at least my driver's one works now, but the passenger one was working, but they, it's, it's all gone funny inside, so it don't work again now. So a bit of a pain in the butt, but there you go. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching anyway, guys, and uh, I shall see you next time. Cheers.